guys, welcome back to another unboxing. This is the big ticket attraction for Lee Max's 2024 Halloween collection. This is the Phantom Castle. Fine tip, Creative Studio. Retails for 200 bucks. It's got music, it's got motion. Let's check it out. All right, let's fire it up. First impressions, this piece looks awesome. Yeah, I can definitely say we're pleasantly surprised. This thing has so many cool features, as you guys can see. It has such a great presence, all these different moving pieces, such great lighting. The ride in the very center, you can see the way they come down that ramp. It's nice and fast. I think that adds some excitement to the piece. The other two rides go in circle. I like the expressiveness of the characters, like on the drop tower, some people are raising their hands, screaming. Some people are worried. You can hear like the audio of them talking, of them chatting. The rides look like a lot of fun with all the movement, but the coolest piece I think is that giant reaper hunched over the whole ride. Almost looks like he's breaking through the phantom castle. The paint on him could be better, but really nice presence. The bottom area of the castle is cool. You have some cool gravestones, saying some funny things, rest in pieces, you'll be next. You have a lot of this intricate stonework. Convincingly looks like rocks. I think that was sculpted really well. The paint is decent. I like all the tombstones and the big sign that says, right if you dare, six tickets, rest in peace. It's cool to see that Reaper at the very entrance with the purple up light. I love the little skeletons you got scattered around. And the exit area also looks very cool. You got a green glowing light above the exit and you see two people kind of running out. This reminds me of like an attraction you'd see at like Spooky Island from the live action Scooby-Doo movie. Yeah. Really cool. This piece definitely has that same feel. And then towards the back, you have the big castle area. There on the left, it says right if you dare. And then on the front, cool looking graphic, Phantom Castle. I like how you got these two giant flames at the very top with a skeleton sitting there. Nice touch the way they have the one light at the very top which shines over onto the bats. And up against the wall is gonna create some nice shadows. The audio is really cool. It's got that kind of scary, but at the same time like adventure music. Yeah. Like you'd expect at this kind of ride at an amusement park. Mm -hmm. I think there's one where it says, wait, is that real blood? It's super funny to hear these interactions of like people getting scared of all the things. Yeah, very fun the way in the audio you can hear people talking to each other while on the ride, their reactions to the creepy things going on it's funny on the side here it almost looks like it is breaking already like these different wood pieces are like snapping and not fully connected overall this is a great piece has such a funny spooky feel in our halloween village we don't have a ton of amusement park rides so it's nice to start to incorporate some of this more fun spooky element into our halloween town as you can see we got a nice variety of spooky stuff Adding the new ones this year, like the creepy pumpkin patch and the manor, fits in really well. Let us know what you guys think about this one down in the comment section below. If you want to add this to your collection, as always, check for links in our description. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Fine tip, Creative Studio.